everything you see is not there. If there's technology between you and what you're viewing, it's not real. So just look at everything as that and then everything becomes very simple. So again, as, as real as you and I talking, that's life. So um, if you're gonna copy, if you're gonna, if you're gonna be envious or if you're gonna be focused on something because you saw something, make sure it's in real life. want to be able to say what you want, wear what you want, do what you want, and be able to do so freely, especially when it comes to social media. So th we're going to talk a little bit about body positivity and fat shaming, first okay. fat shaming. And just recently on TikTok, this girl, she amassed, I think, like almost 700, over 700,000 followers on TikTok. She got banned for promoting more of like a skinny lifestyle and her you know she was revealing her diet she wasn't eating a lot throughout the day um but then we see shows like my obese life and we see other platforms on tiktok especially that are actually promoting unhealthy lifestyles on the other side of the spectrum mm -hmm. um do you think there is i want to say maybe a body issue going on right now in terms of promoting bad lifestyles and how do you feel about tiktok kind of taking sides so I have four girls, right? So yep. if I was gonna talk to any one of my daughters, the number one thing I always tell them already, and none of them have social media, so they're not allowed to have social, they can have social media um, in their senior year and on. You don't think they sneak it? My oldest one did, okay. yeah, and, but, but, <laughs> but I, had, I had spies out there, so I, I had people going, hey, just so you know, Morgan's on, you know, whatever, so yeah. I was, she, she was getting ratted out, so I come home <laughs> like, hey, you got ratted out. So anyways, and she'd have all these like candles that I wouldn't, you know, I would never know. To, yeah. She'd put two M's in her name and, and all that stuff, so. Oh my God. I tell the girls, everything you see is not there. If there's technology between you and what you're viewing, it's not real. So just look at everything as that and then everything becomes very simple. So again, as as real as you and I talking, that's life. So um, if you're gonna copy, if you're gonna if you're gonna be envious or if you're gonna be focused on something because you saw something, make sure it's in real life. We see things on social media and it's it's angles, it's cameras, it's filters, it's mm -hmm. it's just not real. So I don't know um, I think there is a there was a movement um, for years. I don't know if it's still out there, where women who were overweight were were praised. But if you're overweight by 150 pounds, mm -hmm. you're unhealthy. So okay. I don't know why. I don't know what's positive about sending yourself down a path of poor health. It's my advice to anybody is, if you have daughters, understand that the reality is the person sitting next to you that you can physically reach out and touch and talk to everything else is is fake it was interesting when i was doing just a deep dive and researching like what tiktok allows and what it doesn't and like yeah either side of the spectrum it's unhealthy right if you're not eating if you're overeating but there is this like push and what i'm noticing especially on tiktok like they they're very uh they monitor a lot but they're very one-sided on a lot of different really? things oh yeah i would say like they're probably the worst out of every platform really when it comes to choosing sides as it pertains to like issues they deem as important or less important or extreme and i think it goes to what you said it's like is it their problem that people are being influenced by them like to what point do we like say hey you need to snap out of just watching and scrolling on social media and actually face reality but i mean a lot of people don't have parents like you who don't bring them back to that reality or their parents aren't home to educate them that social media can be toxic but we see this even with people like kim kardashian taylor swift like these are such prominent figures to where like their influence takes over not just their generation but generations to follow yeah well, we live in a very shallow world, uh, and 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 it gets more and more shallow um, as the years go on. The problem that we have in society is that people are so easily, yeah, they're just they're just influenced, and so and and they're influenced not even by actions anymore. It's what they see. It's it's how the person dresses, how they look, um, the cars that they drive. Everything is so amplified in the superficial parts of life, mm -hmm. um, but we ignore. Um, every part of what people do these days and we forgive them about all their transgressions as long as they look nice drive nice you know live nice you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying and that's just the world that we live in so I don't know um, but I don't know enough about TikTok and there but it doesn't surprise me I think all 
the social media companies monitor and lean towards a certain direction. Is there a way to stop that? I mean, like, it's getting worse. It's never going to get better.